Hey guys, it's me, Sophie Taylor of All Trades, and I just wanted to pop on super quickly to make um, just a brief tutorial for you guys on how you can upload fonts to the Procreate app now that the new update has um, allowed us to include text in our pieces, which of course the entire Procreate world is like singing and shouting and jumping for joy because it is so exciting that text is now a possibility. So let's go ahead and get started. And the only prerequisite for this tutorial is that you already have downloaded purchased fonts or free fonts from somebody who offers them. The ones that I'm going to show you today are from fontbundles.net. They've got great prices and great font options. So all I did is I purchased the font package. I downloaded it to my desktop because I find it's a little bit easier that way. Um, and then I made a new folder in my Dropbox and it's just called fonts. And so that's the only prerequisite for here is that the files are in either Dropbox or Drive so that you can access them in Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. Just opening up Procreate and then I'll just do a new, I don't have to because I can use any one of these that I'm already working on, but just to like make it less cluttery, uh, just a new square canvas that I'm going to be using and then all you have to do is go up here to the wrench icon in the upper left hand corner make sure it's on the add um, option and then go to add text which is of course the thing that everyone is like oh my gosh add text hooray so you can just leave it as text right now because that's not really what we're interested in at this particular moment so just go ahead and hit edit style and this is so so easy guys all you do is import font Okay, so like I said, make sure that it's in your files. You can either do Dropbox, you can send it to Drive, you can put it in your iCloud Drive. It doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's in one of those that the Procreate app is able to access. So I put mine in my Dropbox and I created a file called Fonts. I'm gonna open that up. And then I've already started importing some myself. As of this particular moment, um, we aren't able to import more than one font at a time, which is totally fine, I'm sure that'll be an update soon um, but for now we'll just be importing them one by one and you can see here that the ones that I have imported don't have a little um, download icon in the upper right hand corner so I've uploaded this one and this one and this one and these are the ones that I haven't yet uploaded um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get those into Procreate it's so so easy we've already hit the import font um, so let's go ahead and scroll down to like a really cute one let's do this one it's called um, sweet monoline sans pro I'm just gonna hit download and it's automatically gonna go into Procreate and then over here on the left hand side, we can scroll for it. And there's one little hiccup that's happening right now. I'm not exactly sure why that's the case. I'm sure it'll be fixed. It's really not that much of an issue, but we're gonna scroll down to the S's, okay? So this is the tiny little glitch that's happening and um, I'll, I'll poke around on the internet and see if I can't find a fix for it, but it's really not that big of a deal. That font that we just imported is sitting right here. Can you see how it's black and not white? And we can't really see the preview of it, which is fine, but that's how it comes out there. So what I'm doing in my head is I'm just telling myself, anytime I see a little black blip down in there where my fonts list is, I just know I have to tap on it to see if it's the kind that I want. Obviously having a preview makes life easier and more, more quick, but the upside is I'm able to download um, and import all of these fonts that I wouldn't have been able to use anyway, so I'm really not that bothered by it. But anywhere you see this black little box, there is a font that you're able to use. And I, I, like I said, I'm not exactly sure why it's happening this way. I did import another font, and it, so this one in here was imported, and it worked just fine. Um, so it's just, you know, troubleshooting. There are just going to be things along the way that uh, we have to work through, but it's so, so easy to import fonts that you've purchased. I love this update. Oh my gosh, I am over the moon about it. So just wanted to share with you a quick way that you can um, import fonts to your Procreate, and I hope you guys have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.